Hello students and friends of O'Neill Sea Odyssey. Here we are for another episode of Ocean Themed Yoga Poses with Laura Walker, Program Manager of O'Neill Sea Odyssey. So today we're going to do Heron Pose. The Sanskrit for this is Crown Chasana. And the reason I think about herons when I think about Sea Odyssey is because in the upper harbor, in the Santa Cruz Yacht Harbor, the great blue herons nest in the eucalyptus trees that line the harbor. And uh, in the early summer, all the baby herons are in their nests and the mother herons are hunting for them and the father herons are hunting for them and the babies don't make a vocal sound to call their mother when they're hungry they clack their beaks and so when you walk by you can hear all the babies making these huge clacking sounds all over the upper harbor and um, so i'm going to do hair and pose with you right now and the first thing that you want to do is come to a seated position and I'm going to do a slightly modified version of this pose, so it's a little bit more approachable for people that are new to yoga. So you're going to bring your left leg in, bend it, and bring it in um, towards your body as far as you can. And then your right leg, we're going to grasp the foot, and then extend the leg all the way up. Maybe we can interlace our fingers around the foot and see if you can straighten your leg and see how close you can get your nose to your knee. This is hair in pose. So let's try it on the other side. Bring the right leg in as close to your body as you can. And then you're going to clasp your fingers around your left foot. Straighten the leg all the way, lift the heart. Try to get your nose as close to your knee as you can. And I hope this gave your mind a little rest from all that homework you're doing at home. So um, hope to see you soon for another episode of Ocean Themed Yoga Poses from O'Neill Sea Odyssey.